people get tricked every year when it comes to their Medicare plan. So in this video, I wanna share three common things that happen in October, November, and December, things to watch out for so that it doesn't happen to you. And if you've got parents, you can remind them about this too, because they might even be more susceptible to this. Now, the time of year where we see the most activity when it comes to Medicare is during the annual enrollment period. That's actually right now at the time of this filming, it's, it's between October 15th through December 7th. This is the time of year where people who are already on Medicare, they can make changes to their plan. And that's when potentially shady, shady salespeople try to influence people into changing their plan to something that's not always ideal for them. Those agents or agencies only have a few ways where they can grow their business. It's either they have to find someone before they get to Medicare age, or the second way is they have to take people who are already on a Medicare or on Medicare and then have them change their plan. I'll first go over what they're trying to do and what they're trying to get you to do. And then I'll go over the three tactics they use to try to make people change their plan. Now, before I get into it, if you wanna learn from other successful retirees, those who have done it right, don't forget to subscribe because we share the stories and some of the strategies they use to make this their best period of life. And hopefully you can use these stories and strategies for your benefit as well. Now, back to the potentially shady agents. What they're trying to do is to get people to change from their original Medicare plan and supplement plan to an advantage plan, which is different from the original Medicare. And there's some risks to doing this. And many of the people who are influenced to change or make the switch, they're not even aware of them. So let's go over some of the main ones and then I'll share the tactics that these shady agents might use. And also I'm not saying that all advantage plans are bad. That's not true. They might be necessary for various reasons and people, people have them and use them, but a lot of people don't know the differences. So here are the big ones. We've got number one, here's the original. And then here is the advantage plan. So for flexibility and freedom, uh, original Medicare, any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare, there's much more, uh, more freedom, more options here. And then if it's an advantage plan, it could be limited to a network of providers. And then for the rules, uh, coverage is nationwide for Medicare. And then these for advantage can change annually up to the, the, the company, the private company. That's the big difference. This is private here. Then to cost, typically uh, it's for original, it's higher monthly premium, but lower out-of-pocket cost. And then for an Advantage plan, lower monthly premium, but usually higher out-of-pocket cost. And then for additional benefits, uh, Original Medicare, one of the, the, the main problems some people find is doesn't cover additional benefits like vision, dental, or hearing. And then for the Advantage plans, many of them do have some of those options. But again, the big problem here is people making that switch from one to Advantage. You can't have both at the same time. You have to have one or the other. And some people uh, get influenced or persuaded to move from Original Medicare to these Advantage plans. So now that we know the difference and we know that there's people out there that are trying to get us to switch, let's talk about the tactics and then how they actually get people to switch. You might already be familiar with this first one if you're over 65 and that's the nonstop unsolicited calls that we get from agents in October, November, and December. But did you know that it's actually not allowed, that agents are not allowed to make unsolicited calls to discuss Medicare Advantage plans or the Part D plans and they do this either they don't care about the consequences or they use this trick because the trick is since they are allowed to talk to you about medicare supplement plans they'll call and they'll talk about medicare supplement plans and if they get someone on the phone then they'll only focus on supplement plans but what they do is they steer the conversation in a way that gets you to bring up the things that supplement plans don't have and then that is of course they're talking about advantage plans. So then they're able to talk about those advantage plans and then try to sell you on those because you brought it up. The second thing that they do, something that we have to be aware of during this enrollment period is they've got misleading commercials out there. And the entire goal here is to make people second guess what you're doing and give you that, that fear of missing out feeling. So that you call the number on the screen to learn more. And if you do call that number, then it goes to this large call center and what they're doing is pitching you on their Advantage plans. So remember to remind your parents, you know, if they see uh, William Shatner on TV and he's talking about a, a Medicare Advantage plan, uh, remind them to just be skeptical. Then the third thing, which is probably the worst thing that people do, is if you've got, or if somebody has an agent already who's helping them with Medicare, a lot of times, not a lot of times, but sometimes agents will actually 
trick people by posing as a representative from that agent's company. They might even use a company name that's similar to the one of, uh, of the, their agent and then claim that the agent is retiring or unavailable so that the person they're calling is, uh, has to talk to them because they think that their agent is retiring or something like that. So if you ever get one of these calls or remind your parents, if you get one of these calls, just hang up the, the call and uh, call the agent if you are working with one. I hope that was helpful in just prepping you for this enrollment period uh, here and every year after just to be on guard for these, uh, these calls that you might get. And then also uh, click the like button so that hopefully YouTube will spread this to other people and more and more people can be aware of some of these tactics that, uh, that some of these agents or agencies are using out there. And if you have other questions about retirement, like social security or how to pay less tax or things about uh, optimal withdrawal strategy, be sure to check out these videos here to make your retirement a little bit better. Take care.